it's Carrie here. I'm the Director of Athletics, Fitness, and Recreation at Landmark College, and I'm going to be leading you through today's workout. So today, we've got this going on. Um, we are doing this workout for time, so it's going to be 10 burpees, followed by 20 squats, by 10 push-ups, 20 sit-ups, 10 jumping jacks, 10 lunges each side, 10 hip bridges, and 20 Russian twists. So the goal for this is to um, do these as quickly as you can with good technique and then take track of the overall time it takes you. Um, if you were to repeat this workout every week along with other workouts you're doing, hopefully your time would improve. Um, so you'd be able to do all of these exercises faster. But we're gonna see how long it takes. I have never actually done this workout before. Um, so I have no idea how long it's gonna take First though, I'm going to walk you through the correct technique for each of these exercises. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight exercises that we have going on. Um, so the very first one is a burpee. So a burpee is pretty much, you're gonna start in a standing position like this. You are going to come down into almost a push-up position. Push down to the ground like you're doing a push-up. Push back up, plant your feet jump in the air. That's a burpee. So a bunch of those is a pretty, um, it's kind of a pretty intense exercise. So if you want to do something that's a little bit easier, a little bit lower impact, you can do a squat thrust instead. So a squat thrust is basically going to be the same movement, but instead of doing that push up, you're just going to come right back up. Um, you can jump if you want, or you can just stand up doing a squat thrust. So the easiest version, um, for the easier version of a squat thrust is this. If you want to do a slightly harder version of a squat thrust, you would add that jump. And if you need something even easier or lower impact, no bouncing whatsoever, you can actually just step out and step back in. So it's going to look like this. Come down, step out, step in, stand up. So easy. little bit harder, a little bit harder still, and a full burpee. Got it? So that's exercise one. The next exercise is a squat. So a squat is going to be standing with your feet a little bit more than shoulder width apart. You're going to come down like you're sitting on something. Um, the idea is that you're trying to get your butt into um, a parallel to the floor position and come back up. So from the side, it's going to look like this. Really important that your back is as upright as you can be. I have to lean forward quite a bit. Um, you don't want your knees coming over your toes or your heels lifting. So if you're doing anything like this, um, no good. If when you're doing your squats, your knees are buckling or your knees are coming out a bunch, no good. You want them right in line over your toes and a nice centered set of weight. You can even kind of lift your toes up in the air to make sure your weight is sinking into your heels. If that's hard, um, you can squat a little bit lower. So if you're new to this, you know, just do a little squat. You're not going to get as much um, leg quad engagement, hip engagement, glute engagement as if you go lower. But Again, we're working up to something. So little squats to start. You can also take a bench. If you don't have a bench, use a chair. Um, and you can actually just do the act of sitting down, coming back up. Obviously, if you use a lower bench or a lower chair, you get a little bit deeper of a squat. Um, if you want to make this a little harder, lift your feet in between each thing. It kind of de-engages and re-engages all of those leg muscles. So that is going to be an air squat. Um, it's the foundation for a lot of exercises, and it's also something you can eventually add weight to if you'd like. Our next exercise is a push-up. Many of you are familiar with a push-up. So um, good push-up technique, I'll move back so you can see, is going to be this nice straight body position, arms directly under your shoulders. You're going to come down with your elbows coming back and then back up, down, up. Um, you can make this easier or harder. 
to make it easier, one of the things you can do is reduce the angle that you're pushing down on. So one way to do it is to use your, to go onto your knees, same technique. Um, you can use a bench again. So you can do an incline uh, push up. You can also use a wall actually and just push on the wall. Sorry, I don't have any good walls here. Um, but if you have this pole, for example, push up like that. To make it harder, you can change the spacing of your hands. You can also elevate your feet. So I wanted this to be harder, but I didn't want to hit my head on that pole. This would be harder still. Um, putting your hands together in a diamond makes it harder still. So something like this just changes how it works. Um, our next exercise is sit up. Sit up, you're going to be on the ground, lying down. Knees can be in this kind of V position. Um, arms come across your chest. The goal is to lift yourself up um, and hinging at your waist and to not like cock your head too much. So ideally, you're going to be like this, come up all the way, back down, all the way back up. Modifications include crunches, which are just this part. Um, they're a little faster and have a little bit less break. Um, Setup's pretty basic. Jumping jacks, love these. These are very simple to do. Start like this, and like this. Come back to here. Hopefully you've all done jumping jacks before. I know I have to do them at the doctor sometimes. Um, lunges, so lunge you're going to start in a standing position like this you're going to come down step forward um, so you want to step forward so ideally when you end up in this down position you have this nice kind of square angle again knees aren't going past your toes heels still on the ground um, nice and squared off and then you're going to come back to that standing position hopefully without teetering so down So if you alternate like this, it's going to be a little easier than if you just do like one leg all at a time. So when we do our 10 lunges, I'm probably gonna do 10 on one side, 10 on the other, just to get a really good burn. Um, to modify that, you know, you can step out a little, lunge a little, come back up. You can also do reverse lunges if you want. So same thing, except instead of kicking forward, you kick back. Um, so those are your lunge options. You can do lunge pulses, which is just like this. Um, you can just try and hold this position for a long time. It's pretty hard. Um, but today we're pretty much going to be stepping forward into, that's one lunge. Um, hip bridges, you are going to start lying on the ground, same position as you would pretty much for your sit up. But what you're going to do is push your butt and hips up so you create this V. So that's a hip bridge. So the idea is you're just pulsing up. You really want to contract your glutes. So that's your butt muscles when you get to this position. And you want to try and lift as high as you can. You know, if you're only getting here, you're not getting as much of a workout as if you're getting all the way up here. And our last exercise is my one of my favorites. It's a Russian twist. So Russian twists, you're going to sit in this upright position with your legs bent, and your idea is that you're coming from one side and then coming to the other, and you're twisting your core, tapping each side. Um, so if I was here, this is what it would look like. One, two, three, four. Um, you can make this harder by elevating your feet. You can add weight. I think this is one of the exercises where having a med ball having a dumbbell, having a, um, a plate of some kind is really helpful. So but you can do this with a water bottle, you can do it with whatever. So these are Russian twists. They're pretty fast. Um, feet on the floor is a little bit easier, but you're going to need 20 of those. So 10 burpees, 20 squats, 10 push-ups, 20 sit-ups, 
10 jumping jacks, 20 lunges, 10 hip bridges, and 20 Russian twists is our workout for today. And we're gonna do one set of those for time. If you feel like that's not hard enough for you, do a set for time, take a little bit of a breather, two minute water break, do another set. You need more of a workout, two minute water break, do another set. Um, if you're feeling really bold, try and make each set faster than the set before it. But I think doing one set of these will be a pretty good workout. So I'm gonna give it a go and we'll see how it goes.